Well guys, I've been accumulating a lot of stuff lately. Accumulating and uh, spending a lot of money lately, uh, but it's paying off. Um, you know, you gotta spend money to make money, right? Uh, yesterday we went to a, a lady's house, a friend of ours, and we cleaned out a lot of her stuff because she's moving. Um, a lot of things we picked up yesterday, you know, kind of interesting, but nothing over the top. We got some, this stuff here, some uh, brass bars, a couple, couple small tools, but I bought, uh, I went to, a, they had a yard sale. I went there and I bought, bought a lot of stuff from them. And now we're just kind of gathering a whole bunch of free stuff from them right now. Like there's a whole big wine making kit here. There's a couple uh, wine accessories in there that I'll have to check out on eBay that may be worth something. But yeah, look at all these corks. The big bag of corks. Whole bunch of them. You can sell those on eBay, no problem. People buy them for crafts and stuff. Uh, some board games here, and then I looked and I saw this. It's actually a, a PC game from 1987 on floppy. And you know, this old uh, these old software games are very valuable. So yeah, there's the floppy disks in there, and everything is in very good condition. Uh, yeah, I was surprised at getting that for IBM Tandy. Neat. Some other old board games there, but uh, you know, a few knickknacks I can maybe sell at the flea market. Uh, but yeah, so that is just a work in progress. That's kind of Christine's work right now. She's just going through a lot of these box lots that we picked up at an auction. And today I just couldn't help myself with these deals I'm finding. So this is another deal I found online. Uh, Kijiji and this person, they're moving and they just had a whole bunch of tools. They said big tool lot for sale, $400. So I said, I'll pick it all up for 300. And they said, yeah, come get it. So I just got back and I, I'm just starting to go through it. And there were a couple things that I saw that I really wanted. One was this chop saw here, it's Ryobi chop saw. The other thing that I saw was in the pictures was this uh, 12 ton shop press. I don't have a press, so I really wanted that. So it's just the, the chop saw and the press were the two big things that I that I wanted. And then everything else was kind of extra. Now, um, I wasn't expecting much. I was expecting, you know, at least $300 in value, but I found more than that. Man, oh man. So check it out. Um, I've gone through two boxes already so far and I found these two uh, three-quarter inch ratchets. It's by Gray. Uh, it's not snap-on, but it's Gray. It's a nice tool. Three-quarter inch ratchet. And here's just the head for, for another one. And they both work. Again, it's Gray. Nice little tool. A nice pry bar there. Um, and then I have uh, another three-quarter inch uh, breaker right there. Nice ball pin hammer. Um, bunch of brass fittings in there. I found the three quarter inch ratchets in this box. Not much else interesting in here. A um, few useful items there. Uh, what's in here? Uh, tachometer. And this one here is just, there's, there's just some a few of the uh, sockets in that one. This one here looks like a soldering gun. Let's see. That soldering gun. There's the Ryobi sh chop saw. They gave me a bunch of these, some hand tools here. That's a nice pick. That's a nice little tool there. I'll keep that for myself. Uh, before I get ahead of myself, I also pulled out these blades, some steel blades. So we got one for stone, asphalt and concrete, or asphalt and ductile iron. There we go, that's good value there. Uh, over here is this box here, and I was didn't know what was in here. I opened it up, and it's pretty nice. It's these three, it's pretty empty, except for these guys on the bottom. We got three pull, uh, bearing pullers. Uh, that's a heavy duty guy right there. And then we got the wife and the little baby to go with it. So yeah, these guys uh, don't see any names on it, but definitely nice tools. 
up in here, not much going on. But it's a nice toolbox. Got this box here. What do we got? Some Allen keys. It's half empty. Power fist. Some wrenches. Oh, we got some crow feet. There's the metric. There's the standard. Nice. Nice. And then we got some wrenches here. Wow. Yeah, these are standards. Got some sockets, some deep sockets there. Nice. I like when it's all organized like that. Some lights. And wow, more sockets down here. A couple of baby pipe wrenches. This is heavy. Some solder. Is that solder? Yeah, solder. Uh, there we go. Torx. Uh, Torques, some little impacts, impact torques. Some more impacts. Nice. This is really good. Okay, that was a good box. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh, they asked me if I wanted these. They're just some block ramps, I guess, or some, yeah, whatever. So I say, yeah, sure, I'll take it no harm in that and having those kicking around they're heavy duty okay so yeah there's the chop saw that I wanted it's Ryobi it's pretty good shape it's just a little bit dusty another they gave me a whole bunch of these fire extinguishers there's some right over there I said I, I would take them you know no harm in me taking them some more crowbars it's good uh, Got headlight gun or something like that. Got a winch. What else we got in here? Block and tackle. Or what? Yeah, block and tackle. Chain tackle, whatever. Chain block. That's, there's two of them, it looks like. Bunch of chain. Hmm. What do we got in here? Come on, open up. Impact uh, sockets. It's a complete set. It's nice. So they're special. Yeah, I guess it's just like a like a swiveling type, so they can swivel. That's nice. And they are standard. Cool. Oh, I'm I'm really surprised. It must have been some sort of you know mechanic shop that closed down or something. I don't know. Oh, there's another three quarter inch breaker there. Didn't see that. Cool, so yeah, I'll be able to make my money back on a lot of this stuff. Battery analyzer. Oh, you just plug that into your cigarette lighter? Huh. Yeah, it's full of chain, this thing. It's in there, anything? Nice, so then here's a big pipe wrench with a, a cheater on it. Looks like it's <laughs> pretty stuck inside there. That, another crowbar or pry bar, and a uh, weed puller, <laughs> another little rake, what have we got in here, man oh man, Whew. it's going to take me a while to get through everything, uh, but this is pretty heavy, it looks like it's just a bunch of chain down the inside there, and there's this hook, it's pretty nice, the hook is on some sort of anchor yeah nothing to go through that um, this bin is just full of, she said it was just a whole bunch of nuts and bolts that looks like these uh, these are really nice um, these are always really handy tools one with the chains oh it's a pipe cutter it's a pipe cutter I didn't realize what that was I thought it was like a uh, you know, used for gripping, but no, that's a pipe cutter. You can tell it has little, little blades on it. Okay, so this probably goes with that three-quarter inch um, head over there. Wow. This 
this is crazy. Um, silent key sockets. Torch, uh, there we go. Nice. What is that? More tools that you could ever do, that you would ever need. More sockets. It's full of, full of, uh, full of sockets down in there. Big head, oh, that one's aluminum. Huh. For hand use on wheel bearing nut only. Wow, so that's gonna be a, a job to go through all that. A little gas can. All right, let's keep going. So yeah, here's the 12 ton press that I wanted. And the other big thing that I saw in the picture was this giant, giant, giant uh, jack. So this guy would be used for lifting up tractors or something. It took both of us to bring it up onto the tailgate. And I'm telling you, it was, uh, it was like lift, lift, lift. And it was hard to get up on the tailgate. So that's a big boy right there. This box here, it's probably the slide hammer. There you go. I saw that in the pictures as well. That's that's a useful little tool to have around. We got another bin full of, looks like hardware, but I do see a pickle fork here, which I don't have one yet. That's a nice little thing to have around. I was doing my uh, hub bearings over the summer. There you go, a little sledge too. I was doing my uh, my hub bearings over the summer and I needed that but I didn't have one at the time so some other hardware in here um, I don't know what's I don't know what's in that box there let's take a look it's like a bunch of uh, tools down in there okay well looks promising okay so uh, sharpener for your chainsaw and rivet tool a couple riv rivet tools in there yeah, that's a little it's for bending like sheet metal and stuff that's nice that's nice to have and mallet here's a little torch huh. paint brushes yeah, not much down there and not much in there Oh well, it's a nice box. What do we got in here? Oh my goodness, we're almost done. Almost done. Bowl of duct insulation. You have some welding rods. Oh my goodness. And they're all sealed up. Welding rods. Look at them all in there. Oh my goodness. What else we got? Pulley remover and installer set. Heavy duty auto tools. Set removes and installs power steering and alternate air pulleys. Another little set here. Uh, oh, wow. I think that's a multi spline extractor set. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> I have no idea what that one was. What else we got here? I don't know something there. Oh, a couple of tap and dies. I saw that in the photographs here. That one looks almost complete. That's the one I saw in the picture. And there's another box here. Probably the same thing. Yeah, this one looks practically complete. Missing one. Oh boy. Whew. Threaded rod, some gloves, Ugh. a big pipe cutter there, nice ball hammer, okay, well, it's got this thing here, I think it has to go on, yeah, it goes with uh, that uh, chain that block you, know, you put that on a rail up in the ceiling so that goes with that wow Whew. i'm happy with what i got here today i was not expecting all this stuff we got the pullers there the 
all these sockets and three quarter inch ratchets. I didn't see any three quarter inch uh, sockets, but that's okay. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, so it looks like this is definitely from someone who was working on tractors because you know you don't see the three quarter inch every day and that's a really big, big jack. So, oh, I didn't look in that DeWalt, uh, I forgot to check what's in that DeWalt case there. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, so it's just this. Um, yeah, it's just this. I saw that. They said the pictures weren't uh, working. I mean, not the pictures, the uh, the batteries. I wonder if the batteries I have work in it though. I have a whole bunch of these other ones here. I have a whole bunch of these batteries. I wonder if they'll work in it. These are old NICADs. No, it's, it's not fitting. It's not gonna fit. Oh well. Maybe I'll just sell it. Sell it like that. I'll probably end up selling a whole bunch of this stuff, but uh, you know, I really wanna go through all the sockets and make little complete sets. Keep what I want, throw out, uh, sell the rest. Nice, I'm pretty happy with today. That was a, a nice little surprise. It, it, it pays to uh, to look on the, the website sometimes, every once in a while and check out, see what's for sale.